the 70s, and one would be hard pressed to describe a so-called aesthetic, if you like, for how the pictures are to be appreciated. You can only look at them and acknowledge them through your own thoughts and feelings. At NAPA, we take pride in being an arts education institution with galleries that showcase a diversity of great exhibitions that we might enrich the learning journey and environment for the students and, of course, the arts community for all of you who have supported us through the years. Requiem is no different. Although I will leave Mr. Tim Deitch to share with you deeper insights into the exhibition, I would like to point out one or two elements worth thinking about as you walk through this place. The exhibition arrives divided into relevant sections. It starts out with a memorial and an introduction to Vietnam and to Indochina. Then it marches into the conflict, documenting happenstances and actions that can appear very painful and quite tragic. As you move, you will notice how the density of the images increases in sections such as escalation, quagmire, last flights, and of course, final days. The intention was to create a space very much like how the photographers would have experienced the texture of the wall and all that was going on around them. For the rest, I leave it to you, the viewer, to experience yourself through the eyes of these many heroic photographers whose lives were claimed by both their passion for what they do and the war between men. I would like to end by saying that mounting this exhibition would not have been possible without the able assistance of many members of my team at NAFA, mainly Iris Lynn, my gallery manager, and Andrew Dean Tan, senior gallery administrator. You can see, with the sheer number of artworks, this was quite a difficult exhibition to mount. And all of them worked tirelessly, tirelessly to bring this display to fruition and ensure that it would be ready on time for the opening. <laughs> In the spirit of friendship, Shirlene, Nordin, an old friend and festival director for the Month of Photography Asia in Singapore, and I decided to walk this path of collaboration that we might showcase Requiem here in Singapore, an exhibition that assembles a story not often told in Singapore. It is a path that has, met, has, that has led to many other stories beyond the exhibition, and to know so much more specifically about the three Singaporean photographers and others like them who worked the ground in Indochina, it's truly a gift that every Singaporean and members of the arts community should share today. It remains for me to thank Mr. Tim Gage, whose presence here will do the enrich the exhibition through his own personal experiences. He was acquainted with many of the photographers who died in action. I also thank Mr. Simon Tay, Chairman of the Singapore Institute of International Affairs, for kindly taking time out to be our special guest this evening. I would like to thank Mr. Chin Ka Chong, Mr. Sam Yok Tai, and the family of Chalapa Kanagaratna for all their contributions that have brought this exhibition seriously to another level for us to appreciate and gain wisdom from. I trust you will find something that you can appreciate personally in this exhibition to make it part of your own history and understanding of both Singapore and the region, past and present, through the works of photography such as that found here. Napa is indeed proud to be a partner with Month of Photography Asia in Singapore, and we hope that you have an enjoyable evening. And without further ado, I would like to invite one of the